unusual plates met in Hampshire to compete for prizes for the rare and amusing registrations. Joe Paley was there. Cherished number plates have always fascinated British drivers, either because it's their hobby or because they're very rich, and usually both. A really good plate can cost up to £15,000, and there were many in that price bracket among the hundred cars in today's rally. How about this one to turn a Prime Minister from blue to green? Businessman John Field, winner of the most unusual number, turned his CLA 55Y into something much more classy. What would he take for it? No, sir, I wouldn't take ten grand for it. Why not? It means more to me than money. It's, it's my hobby. Elvis was held up in traffic, but arrived just in time to take the prize for the most amusing number plate. That's all from the newsroom for this weekend. Good night. If you're travelling abroad for your holiday, perhaps, a reminder that you can go on listening to BBC News and other programmes. BBC World Service broadcasts to the world 24 hours a day. And if you write in, we'll send you information about times and frequencies for different parts of the world. Write to BBC World Service, Post Office Box 76, Bush House, London, WC2B, 4PH. Good evening to you. Well, it certainly has been a typical end to a hot spell of weather with thunderstorms over many southern parts of the country as this low drifts northeastwards. It's pushed the warm air quite away northwards, that's the warm front there, and coming down from the north to meet it is a cold front, which up till now has been fairly weak, but it's becoming more active now, of course, so quite a bit going on over northern parts, in addition to the thundery weather further south. Now, all of that's going to be shifted away tomorrow to leave much fresher weather, but brighter weather coming down across most of the country. Now, on the satellite picture this afternoon, you can see the massive cloud that existed over the country then, and a fair number of, that, of those areas of cloud were, in fact, quite heavy thunderstorms. You can see some of them over southern England there, the cloud extending right the way up across the country, with the cold front stretching down through the Irish Sea there. That's the showery weather that I think we'll be seeing coming down across certainly northern parts by tomorrow, but uh, not too many showers further south. And in fact, by tomorrow morning, the last of that thundery weather will just be confined to the extreme east. That will clear away during the morning, then most parts of the country will have a fairly bright day with some sunshine, but noticeably cooler and fresher than it's been today, with the heaviest of the showers being likely in northern districts, especially the northwest. Now with news of tomorrow night's panorama, here's Fred Emery. This is where Giuseppe Conlon is buried. He died in jail, sentenced after an IRA pub bomb in Guildford. And this is the scientific test which led to his conviction for possessing the explosive nitroglycerin. Some now think it all dubious. Since we cannot categorically say that this was nitroglycerin, therefore the charge cannot hold. Every unexplained death needs investigating. More and more trials depend on the expert witnesses. But does the law want the objective truth? It is natural that counsel for the prosecution is going to get you to lean one way, that is his job, and defence in the other way. One has to clear one's mind as to what a criminal trial is all about. It is not an objective search for the truth. Panorama investigates the scientific detectives, the cases they've solved, and the cases where the wrong man went to jail. That's the whole truth. Panorama tomorrow at ten past eight. On BBC Two now, highlights of today's final phase of the European Show Jumping Championships from Hickstead. And on BBC One in half an hour, the start of a new series of Sunday Night at the Proms. First comedy and more trouble for Robin Bailey is the well-meaning Potter. <laughs>
Belying out there, the hot sun. 